Hi guys and welcome to the video on solving inequalities using multiplication and division. Okay, this isn't on the notes, I just kind of want to um, give you a quick synopsis. Um, when you're doing solving inequalities using multiplication, um, division, adding or subtracting, you do the exact same thing that you would do um, if you're solving an equation. Uh, there is one difference and that is when you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Okay, so I want you to think about something. When you multiply something by a negative, what happens to the number? Okay, so when you multiply something by, um, or divide something by a negative number, what happens to that number? So let's just do a couple. So if I have got the number 5, and then I multiply it by negative 1, it becomes negative 5. If I have negative 7 and I multiply it by negative 1, then I have positive 7. Okay, same thing with division. If I have 10 divided by negative 2, I get negative 5. If I have uh, 12, sorry, negative 12 divided by negative 4, then my answer is 3. So what happened to each one of those numbers? It went from the opposite, right? 5 and negative 5 are opposites, 7 and negative 7 are opposites, okay, um, 10 and negative 5 are op they're not opposites exactly, but the sign changes, okay, and same thing with this, okay. Um, so the same thing is true if you're multiplying across um, an inequality sign, okay, so let's do a couple of them. All right, so the first one, and I want you to star that part on your paper where it says rules for inequality on the top, and you put a big highlight on that because you want to remember that. That's the hardest part of this. All right, so the first one is negative 2x is less than or equal to 10. All right, to, so to solve this, we're going to do it exactly the way that you would do it if it was an equation. Um, what I want you to kind of start getting used to is if you have this term right here, Right, the negative 2 is a coefficient of x. So if you ever have a negative number that's being multiplied by the variable or divided um, into the variable, then you know you're going to be using a negative. So I kind of, you know, circle it to remind myself I'm dividing and maybe write yourself a note that says flip just to remind yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to divide by a negative 2 and we're going to divide by a negative 2. All right. These cancel, and I'm left with x, and let's do the sign in a second, and 10 divided by negative 2 is a negative 5. Okay, so if you multiply a number by a negative 1 and you get the opposite, does it make sense that if you multiply across that the inequality sign also goes to the opposite? So it switches. So this would be greater than or equal to. Okay, so if you have a negative coefficient that you're multiplying or dividing by, you have to flip the sign. All right, let's do another one. Negative 7 is greater than 7. Okay, in this example, it does have a negative coefficient, right? The negative coefficient is 1 right there, so we're going to know we need to flip it. Okay, so we're going to divide by negative 1 because we want to get rid of this side, negative 1. So negative 1 divided by negative 1 cancels. 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. And then this sign is going to flip because you multiplied or divided by a negative. All right, one last one. Negative 12x is greater than or equal to 144. Okay, again, we're looking at this problem. You're going to divide by a negative number. So make yourself a note. You are going to flip the sign. Okay, so we're going to divide by a negative 12 divide by a negative 12. Right? You can also look at it when you get to this point. This is a good thing about showing your work. So if you're writing down that this is a negative 12 and this is a negative 12, that also reminds you that you need to flip it. Okay, so those cancel. We have x and 144 divided by negative 12 is negative 12. And because we're going to flip the signs, it's going to be less than or equal to. All right, this next set is just basically telling you that you need to try to put your variable on the left-hand side because it leads to a better interpretation of the solution. Because if you say 
3 is greater than x, that just doesn't really mean as much as x is less than 3. They're the same thing, but it's kind of confusing. Okay, so we've got this, negative 15 is greater than or equal to 5x. Okay, you can do one of two things. You can solve it and then switch it around. I like to switch it around first just because it's flipped and you can just start there and finish there. So you would have 5x is less than or equal to negative 15. Okay, so I'll and make sure that the, they match as far as the little, the pointy part is pointing to the 5x, the less than, and then the greater than is pointing towards the negative 15. Okay, now this is something that people do have a problem with. To solve this, you are going to divide by 5. Okay, so did you divide or multiply by a negative number? You did not. This is a positive 5 and a positive 5, so you do not flip. It doesn't matter if your answer is negative. It's about what you multiply or divide by, because I'm getting a negative 5 here, but that has nothing to do with the sign. Okay, It's only when you multiply or divide by a negative number, because if you multiply something by a positive number, it stays the same, so the sign stays the same. Okay. Number 5, negative 4 is greater than 2 thirds x. Okay, so do we have a negative coefficient next to the x? Nope, it is not negative, so we are not going to flip it. Okay, so I know that some of you guys are going to struggle with this. If you're getting rid of a fraction, right, so I've got this 2 thirds here. If I multiply that by 3 over 2, right, my 2's cancel and my 3's cancel, and I'm just left with x, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, 3 over 2. Okay, so 3 over 2 uh, multiplied by negative 4 is negative 6. Okay, so I have negative 6 is greater than x, <clears throat> which changes to x is less than negative 6. Alrighty. <clears throat> so we're going to do some graphing. Negative x is greater than 2. Alright, so we know we have to divide by a negative 1. So are we going to flip it or not? Yes, we are going to flip it. So that becomes x is less than negative 2. And then it says to graph it. I'm going to maybe just do this first one on graphing. I think you guys pretty much have that. I don't want to make the video too long. But remember, you're starting at a negative 2. It's not equal to, it does not include negative 2, and it's less than, so it's going to go this direction. Okay, if you're still struggling with the graphing, just come and talk to me, and I'll help you with that. All right, next one. We've got negative 3x divided by 4 is greater than negative 9. Okay, so this is actually the same thing as negative 3 fourths times x is greater than negative 9. All right, so we want to get rid of this fraction, so we're going to multiply it by its reciprocal, so that's negative 4 thirds, because what happens? The 4s cancel, and then the 3s cancel, and you're left with x, and over here we're going to multiply it by the same thing, okay, and we know that um, this is going to be 12. All right, so did we multiply by a negative number or not? Yes, we did, so we are going to flip the sign the opposite direction. All right, so I want you to go ahead and try 8, 9, 10, and 11. Oh, no, sorry, just 10 and 11, and pause it and just check it, and I'll do it. Show you what, it's, what the answer is. All right, here's the answer to 10 and 11. I'm telling you the only thing you're going to struggle with this is whether you flip it or you don't. So remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you're going to flip it. If you multiply or divide by a positive number, you are not going to flip it. That's just going to be something you're going to have to just ingrain in your brain, okay? You're going to have to memorize that. All right, let's go on to the back. All right, so 12 and 13, I like these because you're using the words um, at least. So remember the word at least means greater than or equal to, okay? Because there's a minimum but not a maximum. All right, so it says 36 
is at least, so there's at least one half of a number, so one half x, right? So if we're going to solve that, we're going to multiply this side by 2 over 1, so this side by 2, so we get x is less than greater to 72, so that means x is less than or greater. Okay, all right, let's do the next one. Three-fourths of a number is at most. So at most is less than or equal to. All right, so it says three-fourths of a number is at most, so that's less than or equal to, negative 24. All right, so we're going to get rid of this three-fourths by multiplying by 4 over 3. So we've got to multiply this one by 4 over 3. All right, your equations are coming into play here. These cancel and give you 1. So you have x is less than or equal to, <clears throat> excuse me, negative 32. Okay, um, go ahead and try 14 and 15, and then I'm going to put the answers up, okay? All right, here's the answer to 14 and 15. Um, really, it's about understanding what the terminology means. Number 14 is fairly simple, just that you have to realize that you're having to know what perimeter is. So obviously, perimeter is adding the three sides of the triangle, which is what I did here, and it had to be less than 100 meters. All right, 15 is um, a little bit harder. It's just talking about charge per mile. So remember, you know charge per mile is going to be your slope, right? So it's the number next to the x. So they charge 15 cents per mile. But she can only spend $75, so that's the at most that she can spend. So we want to know how many miles she can drive, so we're going to divide 75 by 0.15, and we get she can only drive 500 miles or less. So once she goes over 500 miles, she's going to be paying it out of her um, own pocket. All right, so um, I hope this made sense. If you have questions, please um, ask me, okay? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and tell you the prompt right now in case you forget in the assignment. Um, I want you to answer this question. I want you to explain to me why you flip the inequality sign if you multiply by a negative and why you don't flip the um, inequality sign if you multiply by a positive. All right, you guys have a good day.